Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show the temporary invoice. In this video, we will start on the temporary invoices tab under the account details screen. From the temporary invoices screen, click on the patient drop down menu. Patients within the selected debtors file will display on the list. Click on a desired patient to filter the temporary invoices list accordingly. We will now explain the various columns within the temporary invoice screen. The temporary number is a unique identifier that is automatically generated when the temporary invoice is created. The temporary date is the date the temporary invoice was created. The data number is the unique account number generated by the system for each data. The patient name is the name of the patient for which the temporary invoice was created. Total refers to the total amount which was invoiced. The user can view the temporary invoice by clicking on the View Edit button located under the View Temporary column. The invoice screen will open where the user can make any necessary changes to the invoice. For more information on the invoice screen, please refer to the invoice screen user manual linked in this video's description. Click on the Close button to return to the temporary invoice screen without saving the changes made. Click on the Post Only button to post the invoice. Click on the Save and Close button to save the changes made and return to the temporary invoice screen. Double click on a desired temporary invoice. The Invoice Actions tab will open. Click on a Download Estimate button to download the temporary invoice as a PDF document. Click on the View Edit Temporary button to open the temporary invoice. Click on the Email Temporary button to email the temporary invoice to the desired recipient. Click on the Invoice Lines tab. In the Invoice Lines tab, the user is able to access a detailed view of the temporary invoice. We will now go over each of the columns displayed. The number sign corresponds to the sequential number of the invoice line item as it appears on the invoice. Code refers to the procedural code that was used within the temporary invoice. Description refers to the description of the procedure code used, which will by default be filled out as soon as the user input the procedure code on the invoice. Diagnosis refers to the ICD-10 code used within the temporary invoice. Quantity refers to the number of the specific items the user would like to add to the invoice. Invoice amount refers to the total amount of the invoice line item build.